Hey everybody, Skyward Link here. Welcome back to our episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, uh, we explored the bazaar area and got ourselves a couple of items to do our... I was gonna say do our bidding. Which, I mean, I guess that's true. A shield's purpose is to protect its user. And we also explored the sky a little bit and got a couple of side things done. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. This time, at long last, we are finally going to depart for the surface, and I can tell Fee is screaming, she's like, Master, you piece of dog water, go to the surface, Zelda's waiting for you. You know what, Fee? We're gonna, we're gonna oblige, we're gonna oblige, we're gonna obey your orders, ma'am. Oh, hey, a bird, with $20, oh, sweet, get over here. Ah, uh, I missed it. Master Link, observe. The green pillar before you is a column of light. It marks the point at which you can descend to the surface. I am currently on top of it, ma'am. You can confirm your current location on the map. Please see where you are in relation to Skyloft. Yeah, that's where I am. It appears that you will be able to reach the surface by passing through the portal in the clouds at the column's base. Indeed. So I should be going down... To where, where is it? Hold on, let me back up a little bit. Uh, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. Fi fee, getting a little troublesome. There it is. There you are. All right. Without further ado, let's go to the surface. Master, please make sure to use your sailcloth when descending from high elevations. Failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. I took the liberty of deploying the sailcloth for you this time, but in the future you can manually gauge it by pressing ZR before landing. Master Link, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft Legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Please proceed with caution, Master. At long last, we are finally here on the ground. We have a gate, my worst nightmare. Anyway, meet the ow. Meet a new enemy, a Deku, uh, Deku Baba. Uh, depending on the way it's about this position, that's the way you gotta slice it. Pretty good tutorial, enemy. That I have to slice uh, vertically before we have to slice horizontally. And now, gotta do both at the same time. There we go. Now that's how you do it. Now let's go down.
Hmm. What's up with this? Nothing to do there. What do you got to say, Fee? Master, I have information to report. While this door appears to have been opened recently, they are now sealed shut by powerful unidentified force. Wow! You don't say! Don't want to take some fall damage. That'll be bad. Young one, child of destiny, descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Master Link, I am sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your Sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through the process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain the process to you? Uh, please! As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of an aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object that made in the aura in question, the stronger the re response will be. This response manifests itself through vi vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is, is, is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target, the point the direction you wish to search. So as she says, we can hold, our, uh, hold up and we can set Zelda as our dowsing target and we can sense her. And hey, she's over there. I say we ought to go over there. And we can use these, use these gusts of air to get us, get us flying up in the sky. I'd love to see it, man. And that takes us right here. Nice. Now the seal's gone. Zelda's right beyond there. We did it, guys. Journey over. And all it took was a single Skyward Strike. Welcome to the sealed temple. Traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is your name? Link? Ah, Link. Good. Very good. And since you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward, the skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years, waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. The gears of fate have begun to turn. It's all as not as it should be. The spirit man was not rich, meant to reach this point land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Link. You are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Faron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. 
The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You'll be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column light of light will stand at, at lo stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press it to pr place a beacon. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to the guide to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. But you no longer have a use for a beacon. You can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Ah. Go now. You must head into Pharaoh Woods and chase after the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. Mm -hmm. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Ah. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Yes, ma'am. The chest she speaks of is right here. You got some revitalizing potion. This potion fully replenishes your shield gauge and also restores four hearts. Yeah, you get yourself a free second bottle from this. Pretty freaking good if I do say so myself. Um, there's also other stuff to check out here. Like this place over here. Can't really do anything with this right now. There's also a statue that we could hang out with. Hi, statue. The statue we could hang out with. I'm very lonely. Actually, it's gonna get lonely on the surface. But not to. S it's all well. It's all fine. Hey, there's a beacon. We love beacons. Aw, oh, look at these little birds. I'm gonna cut some grass. Give me that one rupee. Out the way! Scram! That guy's in trouble. Meet the main enemy of the game, the Koblenz! These are the, basically the main enemy father you'll be encountering throughout the entire game. Dude, excuse me, sir. Oh. Want some more, eh? Ooh, thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. Hey, hey bud, I am Gorgo the Goron. I'm going to... I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there's some kind of place above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently these old statues serve as landmarks for those traveling up to the sky or down from the from this isle of the goddess's place. If you find one, be sure to examine it and keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly this statue is special as it is said to have the ability to activate all, all the other statues. Mm. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It's a real head scratcher, bud. It makes you want to know more, does it not? Yeah! Oh. Ah, sounds like I'm a fellow connoisseur of the ancient cultures here. All right, bud, you had better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this: people actually live on this sky a sky island and get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than the birds down here. Up there, everyone refers to the goddess and the residents of all the islands of the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. The, uh, this island of the goddess is even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it's filled with wonders we do not have here. Whoa. The buildings are all made of gold, and endless spring of mystical water feel, feeds through a river through the place. One sip of that stuff, and you'll live forever! The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. 
And the weather, oh, the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold, no chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That's the Isle of the Goddess. Mm. Amazing, right? Wrong, it is beyond amazing. Mm. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Sure. Ooh. Good to hear, bud. I'm completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. I should have more to tell you now. I'll need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I'll give you the latest info. Whoa! Mm. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? Whoa. The statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Hey. I have to examine the statue further, bud. Who knows what I might find out. Very interesting. What? Very interesting. Give me that. Uh, let's see. Um, before moving forward, I do recommend you go back, you go up here, this, climb this vine, and go through this little cave. Because there's this log here. You push it down. And I have a little bit of a shortcut. Ain't that lovely. Uh, Gorko, do you got anything to say? I have to examine the statue further, but who knows what I might find out. It is as Gorko say, says, we check the statue, we can actually return to the sky anytime we want. Be sure to check these statues as they can be very helpful teleport points. I know we just got to the surface and all that, but we technically finished exploring a whole area. And our next destination is all the way over there. And so I would like to dedicate like a whole video to actually exploring that place in its entirety. So I think the best course of action would be for us to end things off here. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, I see something. You got a woodland rhino beetle. Collectors often polish the hard carpuses of these carapaces, carapaces of these beetles to make them tougher. It's the strongest of all insects. That's another insect for the collection. All right. So that being said, we finally descended upon the surface, surface here in the sealed grounds, and we met an old woman who told us that. The wheels of fate are turning, and that Zelda is beyond here, but she has her own path. And so do we. And also, we met one of my favorite characters in the game, Gorko the Goron. I love his enthusiasm for the for the ancient for the ancient arts. So that being said, as we stand in this beautiful beautiful alcove, I think we're gonna end things off here. Next time on The Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword. We're gonna be deep going deeper into the land. Off to a place called the Faron Woods. See you guys then.